That is a hit at a mile. All right guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh. Today we are gonna start our load development for our Thompson Center Compass in 308. The last video I had on my channel, we uh, got the scope and everything mounted up. I actually went out and zeroed the rifle. I found six rounds of factory ammo I had and uh, nothing to really brag about, but uh, just doing a bore sight, looking through the barrel and getting the scope lined up. Our first shot was here, I made an adjustment. The second shot was here. Made another adjustment and I shot four more rounds. Uh, that's probably about an inch and a half group at 100 yards. So good enough. These are the first shots through the rifle. We got our turrets zeroed. I uh, actually ordered a eBay muzzle device today. I got this $14 308 slash 338 caliber muzzle brake. This has a jam nut. There's not really much shoulder here to use a crush washer. So I've got that installed. I have not shot it since I put it on, but I did notice quite a bit of a uh, muzzle flip with it. It seemed like every time I shot it, the uh, front end would hop a little bit, and I really didn't like that. So uh, that's about a $14 break. So uh, we'll give it a try and see what it does. But today we're going to be using some of this Starline Brass, America's Finest Brass. We have some Spear 168 grain match bullets. It's a pretty good looking bullet. Um, been measuring, playing around with them a little bit, and uh, I think they're going to be pretty good stuff. Now I think we're going to start our load development with Vargit. So we're going to go through this and uh, step by step get this stuff loaded up, and uh, I'll show you what I do. So to get started, let's get this brass opened up. Some absolutely just gorgeous brass. So we're going to set us out about 50 rounds here into our little loading tray. We'll uh, do some measurement on this brass and see what we got, but I'm betting it's pretty good stuff. So the max length for 308 brass is 2.015 and then you trim it down to 2.005. So let's take a couple of these rounds here and we come up with 2.006 and a half. Just randomly pick some of these out. Starline brass is always just pretty much right on spec 2.008. 2.005. I bought brass in the past from other companies that were 20 thousandths too long, but all this is right on the money. So the first thing I'm going to do is run these through the full length resizing die. We're not really going to be resizing them, we're just going to make sure our uh, mouths are good and round and our neck tension is consistent. be using some imperial sizing wax for this. A little of this goes a long way. We're using an RCBS full length sizing die. Uh, this is my neighbor's dies. I need to order a set of my own, but while I have his, we'll just use them. So we'll run through these real quick, get them sized. There's a couple of the mouths that are just a little bit out of round, but that happens when you buy brass. Okay, so they are all sized now. I just have this die set up where the uh, ram just barely contacts it. So we're not shoving the shoulder back any. All we're doing is just making sure the, uh, the neck is rounded out. We're going to take this just microfiber towel. We're going to wipe the lube off these cases here real quick. There's no need to throw these in the tumbler since they are brand new. They're not dirty. They just have this wax on. The wax comes right off with a microfiber towel. So we'll get these wiped down. So the next thing we're gonna use is this Lee Quick Trim Die chambered in 308. And what we're gonna do is just take the, uh, the very top, it's just a little bit rough because it's new brass, that'll square up the top. We're not really trimming it because it doesn't need trimmed, we're just gonna square it up. And this will also chamfer and deburr it. So I have the trim die all set up. 
we are just ever so slightly it's barely touching it and we have a good chamfer deburr good clean looking round so we'll run through the rest of these And we can measure them, and we are right on the money. So this trimmer seems to work pretty good. I've had really good luck with it. But uh, makes it look nice and clean. So we got two left. We are just taking about a thousandth or so off of it, very little, and then letting it do its chamfer and deburr. Could have probably went just a little bit more, but that'll be plenty good. And this is the last one. So if we take our calipers here, we're running about 2.06, 2.07, so well within spec. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our cases primed. I've took a little break. It's been a couple hours since we uh, finished up with our brass prep. We'll dump a hundred primers on our tray. Looks like I only got about 200 left in that brick, so we'll have to pick up some more primers here shortly. Give it my hand where you can see. Give it a little tap and get the rest of them flipped over. There we go. And I did a boo-boo. We are small with our number four in there because I primed 223 last. So, so let's, let's see if we can transfer over. these over without dumping them everywhere, which I probably will dump them. Put them like this, and if I go really fast, I think we can do it. I only dropped a couple. So this will be a good time to show you how this tray works. There's little dimples all over this tray and all we do is just shake it and they all magically flip over. We'll help this one out on the edge. There we go and we're all turned over. So we'll get the one that says large, small, and that is large. And we'll try this again. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever done that. I noticed they couldn't slide down that little path right there for it. So, brass is all ready to go. I'm left handed, but I want to use my right hand on priming these. Don't know why that is, but it feels more comfortable. I guess I want to control the uh, piece of brass with my other hand. So we'll run through these real quick, get them primed, and we'll get to measuring out some powder. So here's what I have decided on. We'll be using a overall length of 2.800 and our test charges of Varget will be 43.4, 43.7, 44, and 44.3. 44 is what the Hornady manual calls for max. However, I'm not real concerned with that. I'm not afraid to go just a little bit higher. I have shot this weight of bullet with Varget before, so I believe I, I'll be okay. So uh, our brass is now complete, so uh, let's get to weighing out some of our charges. The last thing I loaded was some 223s, so we're going to have to readjust our powder measure. Get that topped off. Uh, we'll have to open this up quite a bit. I think I was doing about 22 and a half grain of accurate 2230 the other day. Let's try about there. Let's see where that gets us.
top off our trickler. Get our little scale set up. And let's see where we're at. We want 43.4 and I got it at 43.7, so that's pretty close. So let's back it down just a pinch. Forty-three seven is the load we're going to use, but we'll start at the low end so we don't get confused. Forty-three three. So we'll probably just go in just a little bit more. Give ourselves a little buffer there. We'll trickle it up a grain. Forty-three-four, forty-three-four, forty-three-four. So we're going to do five rounds of each for uh, twenty rounds total. Forty-three-one. Trickle it up. Oops, touch more. 43.4. 43.5. So I'm going to take these tweezers and just take a couple little granulars out of this. 43.4. 43.4. So there we go. Forty-three one, forty-three two, forty-three four, forty-three four, forty-three four. Tap it on in. A little switch in my light's not real good shape. Occasionally, you kind of got to touch it. And we just shot it way over. I'm going to dump that one out. Wasn't paying attention. Forty-three-one. Forty-three-five. Let's take a couple out. Forty-three, four, forty-three, flipping between four and five. Let's take one or two more out. Forty-three, four. Okay. One more for this charge, and then we'll get the rest of them, and then we'll seat some bullets. Forty-three-four, forty-three-four, forty-three-four. So I'll get the rest of these charges measured out. So I got two rounds left to charge here with forty-four point three. Thirty forty-three point nine. Forty-four two, it's bump it a couple times. Forty-four three, forty-four three, forty-four three. And our last case. Forty three six, forty four two, forty four, it's a light or heavy two, forty four three, forty four three, forty four three. It's kind of wanting to go four. Let's take a couple out. 
And there we go. So we have our 20 rounds charged. Um, these last ones are, we're not going to be compressed, but if we had just a little bit more, it would be. I don't know if you can see that or not. If I can get the camera over it. There you go. So you can kind of see the uh, case fill. Uh, bullet's going to be right up against it, but it, I don't believe it will be compressed. So uh, let's seat some of our bullets now. So we'll be using the RCBS seating die that came with this die set of my neighbors. Hopefully this thing's set pretty close. The last bullet we loaded was the uh, 168 Hornady ELD bullet. We want to load these to 2.800. Get this trickler out of the way. Get our calipers out. I'm going to back the seating stem out just a little bit. Let's see where we're at. So that puts us at a 2.879. These bullets are going to vary just a little bit. We're going to just get it close as we can and then call it good. Screw that in just a little bit more and we'll do it again. Two point eight four three. so we need to go a little bit more. Try that out. Two point eight two four, getting close. Two point eight oh seven, so I want to go just a little bit more. Probably call that good right there. 2.800 exactly. So like I said, these bullets will vary just a little bit, so let's see another one and see where that gets us. Two Two point eight hundred even. So that's going to be our setting. We'll get all these set seated real quick here. Run it halfway in, giving it a little turn, and then seating it the rest of the way. Two point eight oh nine. So that was a little bit longer, but our setting hasn't changed. The little knee plat on these bullets are what is the variance. We'll put the bullet uh, comparator on here in a minute and get a measurement on those and see if there's any difference with it. I bet it's a lot tighter. 2.799 and a half. So I'm gonna get the rest of the rest of these 15 seated and then we'll be back. Got two rounds left to seat here. So this Highest charge of uh, 44.3 is not compressed. I can hear just a very little bit of play in there when I shake it. But uh, any more, it would start compressing. So I think we done good on that. So uh, let's get our bullet comparator out. I'll have to change this. I got the uh, 243 in it right now. Just realized don't, I don't have the bullet comparator for a 308, so the largest one I have is for the uh, 65. So we'll throw that in there. This won't be uh, this number won't mean nothing to anybody else, but just see about 
how consistent these are. So uh, zero this out. It won't be quite on the OGI, but it'll be close. So we got 2.392. 2.394, 2 2.391, 2.392, 2.392. So they're pretty consistent. That's measuring off the same point of the bullet. So that's basically, basically the same thing. It's just not quite the right insert. Uh, 2.393. So everything's been within a couple thousandths, so 2.394, so good enough. So the last thing we need to do is transfer this over to an ammo box. I picked up a couple of these the other day. I was trying to get some 100 round ones, but they were sold out of them, so I got a couple 50s. But I need to definitely pick up some more of these. So row by row, we're going to go one round each at a time so we don't get them mixed up. These are some very good looking rounds. of our brass that's ready to go in here also so we don't get it separated or mixed up. I'm getting quite a few rounds loaded up that need to be shot. I have the Fort Scott solid copper 243 rounds ready to go. I loaded up some 68 grain Hornady match 223s the other day. I want to make a video shooting that out to a thousand yards. Uh, I did it the other day with a few rounds, and I, I didn't have a camera with me, but I want to uh, share that with you guys. Got some 6.5 Starline brass we need to load up, so I'm looking at some different bullets that we can uh, use on that. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, the spear bullets have a BC of .534, so that's a pretty high BC for a 30 cal bullet. I want to thank Starline Brass for providing the brass for this uh, this new rifle, this new little series we're going to be doing with the 308. I'm um, really looking forward to putting these things together. Uh, we ought to be reaching a velocity right around 2,600 feet per second. So. Uh, pretty good velocity. I'm betting these shoot pretty good. So uh, this is the uh, last of uh, muzzleloader season this weekend. So uh, hopefully Monday, if it's nice, we can get out and uh, start sending some of these rounds down range and seeing how they're going to do. So that's going to wrap up our uh, video for loading this ammo. The next video in the series will be shooting this ammo 100 yards. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.